Hey folks, we're here on the front porch looking at our elephant ears to see which one we're going to cut and dry. We got these elephant ear bulbs at the end of the spring season. We got those cheap at $5 for about three bulbs. Put those in a pot with some potting soil. Make sure you follow the directions on how to plant them so that they do grow really well. And these are some of the smaller ones that we've got. Show you the biggest one that we had so far later. We're going to take this one today. So you'll want to get your handy dandy razor knife. And come in and you want to just cut the stem. And it's a little tough, but just keep cutting right through there. There you go. Got that cut. Now, we're going to want to come back and trim this off. And we'll do that here in just a minute as we get ready to put it in the box. Hey folks, we're outside now with our cut leaves where we've taken the stems and we've cut them off just about flush with the back. And we're going to place those in our box that holds our borax and cornmeal mixture. You'll want to measure your leaves and find a box that's big enough to hold this mixture of cornmeal and borax. And for ours, I just found an old box that we got some things shipped to us in, put it back together with some duct tape to line it. We used this regular painter's drop cloth to hold in the cornmeal and borax mixture. Now the cornmeal and borax mixture is a two to one ratio. It's, if you're using pounds, it'd be two pounds of cornmeal to one pound of borax. Because we had such large elephant ears to start with, we used 20 pounds of cornmeal and 10 pounds of borax. That's a two to one mixture. Now, our first leaf was something like 26 inches by 24 inches, so it was pretty big. That's why this box is so big. Now, we've already got some leaves in here and we've dug out a couple already. When you're starting to dig these out, and come in a little bit close so they can see what we're doing here. I left some with the stems on you want to be real careful as you're coming in here because these as you do that they will rip easy so you want to easily brush those away you're going to use your brush take those back real easy just a little at a time it's like being an archaeologist you're going to dig in and that's what you end up with now the smaller leaves elephant ears I've noticed are going to be more brown. The larger leaf are going to stay more green. And just depending on the variety you have, you'll want to practice and play with a few of them. Now, we're going to put our new leaves back in or into the mixture. This cornmeal and borax mixture, we'll call it our drying mixture, for our new leaves. I'm just going to smooth it out. You want about a half inch at least on the bottom for your bigger leaf or for any leaf. Put about a half inch mixture on the bottom. Smooth that out. Take your leaf and place it into the mixture face down, top down, whatever. The veins on the back seems to work better. Put that anywhere that you desire move this over just a little bit pull him up put him down in there and start covering him up from the edges and you're going to want at least a half inch on top try and make him as flat as possible because once this is dry it's going to pretty much stay that way my beautiful assistant is holding that back. And there we go. Got all that up. Then take and dig you out some 
place over here for your smaller ones. Making sure you don't run over your big one. Got a smaller one over here. You want to make sure it's kind of level. It's still about a half inch on the bottom. Let's come in on top of it. And yeah, this is where you get a little creative. Just do it gently so you're not ripping the leaves. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. Where else can I put one? Let's see. Let's take a little bit off the top here. You can layer them one on top of the other. There's the stem of the other one. So we want to put a little bit more on top there. Now, we've only got the one more, so I'm going to set it right here. And I'm going to take from the outside edges and just cover them up. And there's really no right or wrong as long as you get them covered up. That's covered up. I'm gonna go back over here, smooth it out a little bit where I know I've missed a couple of places. And that's all you're doing is making sure it's covered with approximately a half inch or more of the drying mixture. And you're ready to roll. now. We'll take, hold that back for me, dear. And we're going to fold this over first. And we're going to take this and fold it over, making sure that our dried leaves don't fly away. Tuck in the edges. neat with this you won't have a lot of the mixture out in the floor but that's why we came outside so if anything did fall out it wouldn't be a big problem because ants don't like borax elephant ears scene 3.2 take two director me camera well yeah without one there's not a video filter no my mouth hey we're back so far We've cut our leaves, prepped them for going into the drying mixture of yellow cornmeal and borax in a two to one ratio. They're gonna stay there for about two to four weeks now. After they're dry, we're gonna pull them out, clean them off, and we'll mount them for display. Just to give you an idea, we mounted one in an eight by 10 frame, added some artwork, some writing, some doodads across the top here, just for an idea. We had one of our large leaves this year, it was 18 inches wide by 25 inches long. We mounted it in this 24 by 36 inch frame behind us, added a couple of small leaves to resemble the ace of spades, picked up this frame for $1, $1 at Walmart on clearance. That was over a year ago. So always pick up the bargains when you have the opportunity. They'll come in handy sooner or later. All right, that ends up our video for drying elephant ears. We'd like to hear from you. If you have any comments or questions, put those below. Remember to like our video and subscribe. Smash that bell so you'll be able to get notifications of when we're coming back with more for you. See you next time.